Harry Potter fans, get ready because skydivers play Quidditch in the air. This is amazing. Yes. Watch the video. That's so cool. That's amazing. Right? I mean, for anybody that's a Harry Potter fan, whether you're a fan of the books or the movies or the characters, whatever it may be, this is something that you dream about. Oh my gosh, yeah. Right? I, I mean, imagine how, if it were me, it'd be like, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm terrified. <laughs> but clearly, to have your wits about yourself where it's like you're scoring now, I think this was pretty much for a video. I don't think it was an actual competitive match. Like there wasn't, no one was keeping score. That would take a lot of plane rides. Uh, to just keep going back up. <laughs> well, like seven no, they weren't zero. really playing. Yeah, no. this is definitely for, I think, for them to go viral. We don't even have that information. We did do some digging. We we're trying to look and see who this group of people are. That are wizards. That's me. Yeah, that's pretty big. If you guys know who they are, please let us know in the yeah. comment section. But when Just we a were... rogue team of Quidditch playing skydivers. Now, there was some speculation that it may have something to do with the new Harry Potter prequel or the spinoff, mm -hmm. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Do you think that this has anything to do with that? Maybe. I don't think it really hurts the film that's mm -hmm. coming out, but I, I, I could have seen this coming out three years ago, you know, when there wasn't a movie in theaters, and it would still go viral because it's this, you know, beloved game from our childhood, and it is so intense to it. watch that. Who The way that they filmed that was brilliant. Yeah. Was just so brilliant. It really takes you into the sky. Did you lose your breath a little bit? Yeah, I for did sure. My stomach, I kind of lost my stomach. Have you been skydiving? No, have you? It's horrific. You've been? Horrific. Of course you've been. You do everything cool. No. <laughs> wow, what Not is necessarily <laughs> true. Um, I I did I was doing a it's show horrific. for MTV New Zealand and MTV Australia. And it was uh, the show we did all these like different like stunts. And it was supposed to be all about like action sports and I'm cool. And so I had to like fake it. When I was like going up, like. Oh, so it was like, my name's Sam Shocker and I yeah. love action. And meanwhile, I had a pan I was having a panic attack. <laughs> I don't know why it's coming out all loud and squeaky, because really, I'm fine. Are you kidding me? Try going in a plane. But you had to be like, oh, yes, yeah, love this. <laughs> like, you had to be like. Not quite like that. <laughs> Not quite. Um, and I saw the footage afterwards. I'm like, damn, I did a pretty good job convincing the viewer that I was you stoked You jumped on. out of a plane. Yes. And here's the thing. when you The, the scariest part about skydiving, because obviously uh -huh. when you're in the air, it's incredible. When you land, it's even more incredible. You have the biggest high ever. You do want to go back up there. I would not go back up there because that plane ride is, you're oh, going fast up 10,000, 15,000 feet. You go up fast. Ooh, so you're like this. Ooh, no. And the whole side of the plane is a window, which, oh, is, gonna, no. which is a door that's about to open. No. So as you're going up, you're looking out, knowing you're about to be thrown out. They throw you out? They have to, right? Well, because I was tandem because you good. have to train to go by yourself. If you were going by yourself, there's a, there's a series of training that you have to go through. But uh -huh. because it was on a television show, dude dangled me out there for like a good five seconds. So I'm dangling, he's holding on, I'm f***ing dangling. It's so horrific. I can't, this And is then like... he pushed off and then it was incredible. And you have to make sure that you put your hair in a pone, ponytail. <laughs> Nobody told me to put my hair in a pone. I had made, think about it, I had dreadlocks. Oh my God. I put <laughs> olive oil on my hair to get them out. Because you were trying to look so good. You're like, hey, MTV, Sam Shocker here, about to do this crazy thing and jumping out of a plane. Please don't tell me that's how I sound. No, it's not. But um, wait, I had something I was going to talk to you about. Oh, wasn't this the same trip that you went on where they asked you to film and you just filmed your face the oh, whole that's time? that's right. I forgot about it. If, we can, if there's a way to find no, footage, if you God, guys can no. find this, I really have always wanted to see this. I've heard about this trip that Sam did with the skydiving and they gave her a camera. Let me, that correct me if I'm wrong. backyard wrestling. So we did all these other things. And yeah. Before backyard wrestling, I had a diary cam. Yeah. And, and she I'm just ended to, up. I was supposed to first start on me, which I did, mm -hmm. and then I was supposed to turn it around and show like yeah, all the cool shit. You just never went to the cool stuff. It was You're just like, on my face the whole time. I didn't know. Anything you need to see is right here, baby. MTV New Zealand. Know, You're looking at it. it. Thank God there was other cameras. <laughs> but anyhow, um, really quickly about this, did you get to go on the Harry Potter ride at Universal? Where you get to play Quidditch? I've never <gasps> been. Oh my God. You guys, because uh, I, I, there's a few Harry Potters, right? There's the one here, there's one in Florida, there's one, one in, in London. London. Yeah. And if there's, I don't know if they all have that same ride, but you get to play Quidditch. It's all like simulation. Right. 
incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got emotional. Yeah. I was like, I'm playing Quidditch. I'm excited because I feel like this video has kind of reopened my imagination back into the world that we're going to go at, back to. That's for... why people thought it had to do with the, the, the new prequel. Maybe the timing is very fortunate. I'm looking forward to the movies. We all love the Harry Potter universe. So mm. good on these guys. Check, check. And I'm excited for the movie. Me too. Okay, you guys, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.